This bar relief here at Marymount Institute is very uh, important to the religious of the Sacred Heart of Mary, the congregation associated with this university, because it portrays so beautifully the foundation or the early years of our congregation in just a few figures. The priest there on the left is our founder, Father Jean Gayek, who lived in the 19th century from 1802 to 1890 and founded the community in 1849. He is considered by the church to be venerable, the venerable Jean Gayek, a man who lived the theological and cardinal virtues to a heroic degree. Now, if you look at the woman, the pregnant woman just to his right, she perhaps is a symbol of his compassion toward vulnerable women. Because although he worked in a hospital for the very sick in Béziers for 21 years, while he was doing that hospital uh, chaplaincy work, he was particularly drawn in sympathy toward the women on the streets of Béziers and uh, did everything that he could to alleviate their condition and to help them to free themselves from the slavery of prostitution. The sheep, you might be wondering, what are the two sheep doing there? The sheep are a wonderful symbol of Father Gayek's spirituality because he believed that he was called, as we all are, to continue the mission of Jesus Christ. And what particularly attracted Gayak was the role of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, the gentleness, the compassion toward the weak that Jesus expressed during his life. Gayak is drawn to live out that facet of the life of Jesus as Good Shepherd. So it's significant that the Good Shepherd is there between Gayak and the woman. Further over to the right is Mère Saint-Jean, and she was in the very first community, the founding community of religious of the Sacred Heart of Mary. When they were founded uh, initially, it was to continue the care of these poor women, these uh, vulnerable women, in a refuge. The congregation was initially formed to do that work. She was not only the heart of that founding community, but uh, as a widow, she used the inheritance that she received from her husband to finance the works that the community undertook in uh, the first two decades uh, of its existence. The boy that you see there represents the orphans, the love that Gayak had for orphans and for children. He had opened uh, an orphanage for boys to teach them the skills of agriculture as well as give them primary education. And there was an orphanage uh, for girls also that he founded. These many works were typical of our congregation from the very beginning. All classes of society, we have opened a school, as well as the care for the, the women and the orphans and so on. And although we continued with all those ministries, uh, eventually it was education that for a hundred years was extremely important to the congregation. Education of poor people, of middle class, of wealthier girls and so on, all bringing that same message of uh, the importance of Jesus Christ who came that they may have life to the full. So it's a beautiful bas-relief, full of symbolism for us, full of memory in our founding and in the continuation of all the different works that we try to do in these past 164 years since we were founded.